Welcome to the Puppet Academy from One Way UK 2009. This is the second year that we've been running the Academy and it was run by Fiona Stutton and held by David Jones. This year we had nine ladies attending the Academy which ran at the end of July and the beginning of August for one week. During the week, which was fully residential, although they didn't have much sleep, the team practiced a brand new musical recorded and produced by One Way UK. This musical is called Seeking Your Love. During the week, the team practiced and produced all of the props for the musical, which they performed at the end of the week. The musical will be performed at the European Puppet Festival at both Derby and Reading as the main Friday night presentation. The musical is also being produced in the book with a CD, again available from One Way UK. The musical included eight songs taken from the Listen to Him CD. In addition to the songs, an audio track was made for all of the scripted parts. No, not really. Why? What's up? I broke up with my girlfriend last night. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Do you want to talk about it? During the week, the team worked on the choreography for the different songs. This was to add variety to the presentation and covered the songs which included the band, showing how different musical instruments are played and were performed in both white light with some of the songs performed using black light. One of the songs, Everything I Do, was done in black light using hand mime. In this song, all of the puppeteers were completely blacked out and had white gloves on, so that in the UV light, the only thing that was visible was the white gloves. At the start, these were all kept out of sight behind their backs or behind each other, and then were brought into view to form letters, to make words or shapes, to add meaning and depth to the song. Fiona produced the routine, which was then further developed and worked on by the team as a whole. The particular skill with the hand mime is getting the whole team to work together so that the different letters or words or shapes are produced seamlessly. For the band scenes, which are set in a concert, you have the puppets playing guitars or keyboards or drums uh, as in a real concert. The other puppets, whilst attending, were obviously not seen during these band performances. All the backdrops used were hand painted on white linen and then hung on one of the crossbars to give a, a, a setting or a scene to add depth and scenery to the puppets. These were changed as required by being thrown over from the back. During the black light performance part and the UV, it is important that the whole of the area behind the puppeteers is black. This was produced by placing black cloth in between each of these scenes. The large puppet used in the song Reach was a tube 
which is operated by two people. One person having the body strapped to their own body, with a second person operating the head. The difficulty here is to keep the head of the tube in line with the rest of the body and not to one side. A lot of time was spent making props for the musical. These include signs which add impact or message to the particular song and they were done in either normal paint or fluorescent card paper for use during the black light song. The signs had prop sticks on the back which were held up by the puppeteer wearing black gloves so that the hand and the handle couldn't be seen. During the week the team had so much fun it was difficult to stop them at the end of the evening and it was sometimes 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning by the time the team had actually finished practicing and working on some of the routines. The props produced by the Academy for the Seeking Your Love musical are all included in the book available in the resources area. I would like to thank the 2009 Puppet Academy team for all their hard work and effort and their enthusiasm that they brought to the week and the musical. They had a, a great time and it was a real pleasure to be working with them. My name's Penny Elliott and I'm from near Market Harbour and this is my second time in the Academy. Um, so what I've learnt this week, I think the most important thing I've learnt is um, how few hours I can exist on as far as sleep is concerned and how many many hours um, I can spend making props and rehearsing routines. Um, the new things that I've learnt this year um, have been particularly um, the black light tubey puppets uh, which is just fantastic to use um, and um, also the human arm puppet which I hadn't done before so that was really good fun. It would be good to take back some of the hand mime techniques um, back to my church, back to my team, um, especially the hand mime because you need such little equipment in order to do it and people who perhaps aren't confident as puppeteers could still learn to do it and it would introduce them into puppet ministry. It's great to come here and um, be part of a team and learn from the others and, and do new things that you haven't been able to try before, you've just not had the resources or the ideas and you get to try that at the Puppet Academy and then you can take it back and it gives you something fresh to take back to your team, something new and exciting for them to enjoy. Um, but it also makes it much more interesting for your audiences as well if you're doing something a bit different. Um, I think it's given us all a lot of confidence in being able to do this. Um, but you could really see it through the week where we've uh, been working to, to put it all together and at times felt really challenged and worried whether we'd be able to do it. Um, but actually it's not until you're challenged just beyond what you think you can do that God can then come in and enable you and work through you in a way that um, was much better than you were able to do in your own strength. Don't forget if you are over 16 and would like to be part of the Academy in 2010 check online or look out for the details that will be available.